Hello. In this video, let's look at how to add grand totals and subtotals to a pivot or a table visualization and see how to customize these totals. Let's begin by creating a pivot table using the sample order lines dataset. Let's select a few columns and add them to the canvas as a pivot table. Let's briefly rearrange the columns. Let's filter the results uh, for two years so the pivot looks more readable. Now the chart properties includes a totals tab. Let's look at the options available here. Totals can be added to a pivot table on the rows and the columns edge by simply clicking on the checkbox. When there are multiple columns in the row or the column edge, subtotals can be added by clicking on the appropriate columns. We can control where we want to place the totals as well. In case of a row edge, totals can be above or below the actual data. In case of columns, the total value can come either before or after the actual column data. We have formatting options available on totals that allow us to change the font type, size, color and so on. These options help in highlighting the totals from the actual data. Similar customization options on totals is available on a table view as well. Let's select a few columns and add it to a table view. Let's briefly rearrange these columns. Now the totals tab is available here as well. You can add totals and subtotals using these properties and similar font options are available here as well. Thanks for watching this video.